Welcome everyone for yet another session of Free Meditation TV. Today I'm joining you from Washington State. My name is Nirmal and I will be your main host today. I'm very much looking forward to this evening with all of you. Now today I'm joined by a very special guest and friend and amazing musician named Shivangi Kanshin and she'll be playing some piano for us during our meditation. Now, just a, a brief bit about Shivangi. She's currently studying her master's in piano performance at the University of California in Irvine. And she's been playing since the time she was very, very little. And uh, she has also been meditating since she has been very, very little. So we're looking forward to hearing a little bit more about her this evening and um, and how meditation has really affected her music and, uh, you know, helped her develop her own life. So for all of the new people that are joining us today, I'd like to briefly give a small introduction on what Sajoga Yoga is about and what is meditation really. So the heart of Sahaja Yoga is yoga, which is union. Essentially, Sahaja Yoga is a tool that allows us to connect back with our true selves, with the essence of our existence. You see, oftentimes we fill ourselves with so many ideas about who we are and what gives us fulfillment in life. But in reality, we need to be connecting with the essence of life and truly being satisfied with just existence itself. And so meditation is that tool that brings us to that. Now, you're probably wondering, you know, what makes Sahaja Yoga a little different and, and what makes it uh, kind of a special yoga? So in, in Sahaja Yoga, we recognize this spiritual energy that assists us and supports us in all of our spiritual evolution. And it's been known by many different names and different cultures, um, but it's essentially all the same experience. It's, um, some people call it the Holy Ghost. Some people call it the Tao. And some people call it the Kundalini, which we'll be referring to it as Kundalini today. So what this energy is, is with the pure desire in a human being, it rises within us to give us this state of complete union with ourselves and with the world around us. Um, <clears throat> you'll see on this chart that we have up here that, um, that this energy it resides at the very base of our spine. And the state of meditation is truly achieved when it rises through our subtle system all the way through all these seven plexuses and pierces the very top, the very top chakra or very top center in a human being. And now once this connection happens, this is called the state of self-realization or thoughtless awareness, where all of the thoughts fade away and you receive just the joy of your spirit and of your existence. And now one thing about the Kundalini that you'll find out through your meditations and as you develop and uh, connect with it more and more is that the Kundalini is a reflection of all the beauty that exists in this world. You know, from all of the nature, from all of the colors that give us inspiration, from every single little thing that is beautiful in life, there's a reflection of that great work of the Kundalini within it. And today we'll be experiencing that through the music of Shivangi. So when we're meditating today, uh, all I ask is that you bring your attention to that beauty that is in the artistry of this musician that we have today. And, and you'll find that when you bring your attention to that, the desire builds up within you and the Kundalini gets excited and you receive this blissful state of meditation. Now, to prepare us for our little meditation today, we'll just briefly uh, take a few moments before we start any music or anything. You can sit comfortably in our chairs or on the ground or wherever we are. We can just take a few moments to just let go of all of the thoughts of the past and the future any reactions that we've built up through the day or week. And we can just surrender all of it to this moment.
Now with full desire and attention, we can take our right hand and bring it up through the subtle system to the very top of the head, placing our desire and attention at this very point on the top. And here within us, we can just take a small affirmation or desire. We can say within ourselves, Oh, Mother Energy, I desire to be connected with you. I desire to be integrated. Please give me the state of meditation. Now with our attention and desire set straight, we can remain in the state, just letting go of all of our thoughts and just bring our attention to the music that plays.
Thank you, Shivangi, for such beautiful music. Uh, I was wondering if you could reveal to us a little bit about the pieces that you just played, and maybe their names, and a little bit about each of them. Yes, of course. Um, so first, thank you for having me today. It was a pleasure to play. Um, so uh, today I played two pieces by two composers that are were actually friends. Uh, so the first piece was um, by Johannes Brahms. It's a short piano piece. It's part of a set. And the second one is by Felix Mendelssohn, uh, which comes from a set of short piano pieces uh, named Songs Without Words. And I thought that these two would go really well together since um, they were written more or less in the same uh, time, in the same country, and si since there is such a big connection between the composers.
tell us a little bit about those two pieces now? Um, so the first piece that I played was by Franz Liszt and it's named Consolations. Um, and the, the name is related to a poem um, that Franz Liszt was inspired by and um, he, which was very much related to this feeling of contentment and um, kind of finding peace in life and that was the inspiration for um, for this piece and then uh, the last piece was a Chopin Mazurka that uh, and I guess the if we want to find a relationship between the two I could say that Franz Liszt and Chopin they were also friends <laughs> and <laughs> so I guess everything is related today <laughs> I guess we can open the um, the chat up for questions at the moment. Um, but just to get us started, um, I wanted to ask Shivangi uh, one question. Uh, uh, in particular, um, like through your years of practicing meditation and music together, um, I, I would like I'd be curious to hear about how meditation has influenced the music that you played. Meditation has affected positively almost all aspects of my life. Uh, because of this connection you can achieve with your true self. Um, meditating, you can learn a lot about your own persona and can therefore project uh, all of these qualities that you have within you and share it with the others. Like we live in a world where it's so um, distracting and sometimes we just forget to find our own essence and share that with the people around us and um, in my own experience and my musical experience this ability to connect to myself um, translated into being able to give to the audience a lot more and understanding music at a much deeper level uh, brought a lot of joy and kind of meaning to my art. So I guess I would ask everyone to try meditation and see how that impacts your life. Oh yeah, well, Shivangi, everyone can feel the, the impact of, uh, of that profound spiritual background in the music that you play. So, so thank you very much again for, uh, uh, for you know, being that instrument to to deliver such powerful music. Um, uh, I guess uh, one other question is where can people find more of your music online? <laughs> um, yeah, so um, I do post on my Instagram account videos of, um, of my performances and my practices. So you can find me over there. I believe there is a, also like a link that is shown. I invite everyone uh, who hasn't had the opportunity to continue meditation to um, to start joining us every single week. So we have this session every Wednesday at 8.30 p.m. Um, so yeah, feel free to just tune in anytime. And if you miss a week, just come back because we're always doing it. <laughs> um, and, um, and through that, you'll find a bunch of different resources. We have different links all over for different meditations. So really you can, you can find in and pop in a meditation at any point in time. But uh, with that said, uh, this basically concludes our beautiful evening together. And thank you all for joining. And thank you again to our beautiful musician. I hope you all have a lovely evening and we can see you very soon. Take care, everyone. Good night.